Assalamu alaikum and welcome to a new video in the Thuluth script. In today's video we are going to look into the letter Ra and Za. Now those two letters just like the Dal and the Dal look exactly the same. So explaining one of them means uh, learning the other. Now for the Ra we have three main shapes. Uh, we're going to start with it singular and for that we are going to use a bat shape that is two and a half points high, just like this. And the same what we did for uh, previous letters with regards to the hilia. It would start from here and it would take this triangular shape just like this, stopping here. This would be our hilia. I'm not going to color it, I'm just going to leave it so that you could see the remaining of the letter. Then we're going to put the pin up here with a kind of a vertical angle and we're going to move down to the right just like this. And we're going to stop here. So here we've got this uh, hilia which looks like this, triangular shape and then we've got our uh, rat, the first part of it. This is the shape that comes with two uh, shapes of the uh, Ra because we've got two that start like this and a third one that looks totally different. So this is the first step. The second step would be for us to drag six points of width right here and two points of drop on the right of the letter. And inside we will have a slight curvature that would look something like this. And from here, our shape would start to uh, decrease. We will have to rotate the pen. So we're gonna start from here, moving downward with a slight curvature. And right over here, once we touch this uh, line, we start to rotate the pen around its axis in order to decrease the size. It should be smoother than this, but yeah, let's just do this one. So, doing it again, we've got the helia over here, then we've got the first curvature to the right, then we turn around and we go down with the second shape, which is this uh, long ending. Now, this would be two points of drop, as we can see. This two and a half with a nice angle uh, to the right over here. The shape here again is more of a curve right, then a smooth transition down below. This one is too thin, I would say. Let's take this one. Uh, this would be our first uh, right shape. The second right shape would be the same beginning, but the second shape will curve upward. So for that one, we're going to start with a triangular shape just like this do the same thing with regards to this move but then here what we're going to do is add four points instead of our six points one two three and four these could be uh, more up to here two points of drop just like the previous one and we're going to add one point here so that we are forced into curving downward so this one looks more like a new one. So you go down, you curve back up, and when you go back up, you go all the way up to here. So here you've got the top part of it, and you have to drag this uh, ending all the way up to that one point, up to here. Doing it again, we've got the helia. We start with our first move, going to the right. Then we curve downward for two points and a width of four points. Then we go back and we stop here with a one point drop from the top part up here. Now this should be longer in my opinion. So again, you've got your hilia going down and just add your four points properly so that you get the uh, proper width of this shape down and back up yeah that's more like it 
that's the thing that when you write the letter, you start to feel that no, it's not, it's incorrect. Because for example, here you would see that it hasn't dropped the full two points. Uh, but yeah, this is the second shape. Take this one. Uh, other notes about it is just basically this one over here will be half a point. It's one point from the edge, but since you are writing the helia up here, you should just take half a point and do your helia. The helia again is just one point of width, as we explained before. This is the second shape of the ra. The third shape of the ra would be uh, quite different. For that one, we're going to add two points of width. And since we are starting from here, we're going to start one point below this edge because we're going to go up, then curve down, just like this. So we've got here our one point. And below that, we're going to add one and two. These two points will govern the drop that this rock will uh, take. So starting from here, you're going to go upward. And I'm going to drag these two points up here. You're going to go up and down for two points. Just like this. Notice that the curvature is more to the right bound rather than being equal on both sides. Then you're going to drop all the way down to these two points that we put earlier and here what you need to keep an eye on is for example this would be five points of width and around the last two points somewhere around here once you go down you would start rotating the pin before you finish the before you reach to this point so you're going to start rotating it and you'll come back with the pin now here i'm just going to move it to a better spot down here just to get our head around this note that we're going to talk about now. So here we've got our rectangular. Uh, this could be one, two, three uh, points. And our letter would be governed with one, two, three, four, five. And as we said, we're going from here, going up, then down for the two points. Then we're going to curve and we're going to rotate the pin so that it decreases size. And from here, we're going to add two points so that we know where this last bit will end. Down, rotate, and come back. And again, you would finish it almost with this part. Now, here you'll be having a curve. Again, here you've got the curvature, because here you've got the curvature going this way. And you've got another one that is going the other way around and they kind of change direction somewhere around here. This end part, if we were to take it by itself, you'll find that it is rotating this way. You see this edge? This is the edge that will give you this smooth transition. Mind you, you never have full thickness down here now you start rotating the pin around this edge before you start going upward so that it will end you with a smooth uh let's say joint down here so this is very important with regards to this uh right letter now these are the main three singular shapes that you're going to see the rock uh written with when the rock connects all three connect but let's take them with the letter ba. The first two connect with a ba that is one and a half point of height. And since the letter is going to drop below, we're going to add another half point because this, these two one and a half are for the ba. But then when you go down, you have to rotate downward. And this would be half a point, as you can see here. Now the distance between the two letters would be one point from up here. And you're going to have to drop half a point for the head of the ra. So you're going to stop here. And your letter would start from here, the ra. And the connection, this is a new connection. So what you're going to add is basically a two points high bat shape. 
kind of, that will extrude one point below the connection that we have. <coughs> and it is moving to the right. Then what will happen with this is that we're going to add two points of drop, and that's again just going back to the finished part of those two shapes. And for that, you're going to add either six points of width, the one we saw up there, or the four point with the rotation. So we're going to do both of them. Let's start with the four point with the rotation. We've got first point up here, we've got the second, third, and fourth. We've got our one drop here. We're going to drop it, rotate, and come back with our one point to drop from this line. So this is a bar connected to this shape of a rod. If it was a different letter, if it was a ha or whatever, it would be the same concept. It's about these two drops, this one drop, and how to finish the letter. The connection from the right is kind of similar with all uh, letters. The second one, again, we're going to drag our lines, all of them, to the left. We're going to start with a one and a half that we talked about before which is for some reason kind of higher. Yeah, I think I messed up this part. Yeah, we're going to start with a one and a half, then down and up for this uh, connection for the second row. And this row would be two points of drop down here and six points of uh, length. Again, this end would be two points, and these are our four points. Two points of drop. And yeah, one point up here. This would be our half points, one point between the two letters. Uh, this could be a bit higher for our half a point of drop. Uh, yeah, those two connect this way. The other one, on the other hand, it connects uh, in a different way. So. For that one, we're going to add one point, and what will happen here is that the letter B or the connection would come in this shape. It will drop, then come up back, and you have to keep a, you have to keep an eye on that uh, because basically some letters change shape. So, for example, if you had a rock connected to a scene, and you're going to use the nebula for the scene or the side, you're going to change the nebula into this curvature uh, at the end of the lot. So. Here we've got our bat, which is not the full thickness of the letter. It's going to be thinner than that. Goes down with this curvature, then it will curve back up. Then it will again curve back down, and our two points will be over here. And this is curving back down. Rotate the pin around its axis to decrease the size of the. Uh, thickness to decrease the thickness and that's your end rod. Again this is where the rod starts and in case if it was a scene or a sheen this would be the uh, or side this would be considered a nebula because when it connects to this rod it sort of changes uh, into this shape. The bat shape up here isn't thick it is two thirds let's say it would be this one you can see there's a difference between a full thickness one, which is this one, and one that is decreased in size. That would be this shape. Yep. As you can see here. Keep an eye on this one. So here we've got all three connected. We've got another connection for the first two that looks different. And that one would look more like the hat connection that we saw before. So for that one, you're going to have one point of height. And you're going to add half a point below so that the letter will drop. And again, you're going to start from here and do this tusk shape, the rotation. It's going to be two points of width. And you're going to immediately change the direction of the curvature, just like this. It'll be one point of uh, drop, as you can see. And you're going to drop half a point for the rod on the left. You're going to go up. And here we're going to drop our one point, as we said before, which will account of almost two points from the left. 
And now here you have the freedom to either uh, have the long uh, straight one or to rotate it around its uh, axis. So you've got two shapes that come with this one. The uh, sort of the heart shape. Now this bat uh, shape will come with us with the letter meme and it is kind of similar to the connection to the hat that we saw before. The hat is uh, slightly shallower as you can see here. Meanwhile the rat would go more downward as you can see. But those moves sort of uh, give you a nice feedback and they both could help you with that. Now uh, keep an eye on those uh, ra, the one we saw here, and this ra. Those two shapes will come uh, we will find in uh, letter wow in the future. So this is Ra, uh, and Zai would be the same thing, but you're going to add one dot on top of this uh, letter. For examples, you've got how, as you can see, you've got a way to connect them with the bat. If you were to connect them to a hat, again, you have to be mindful of what uh, hat comes with this letter. We're going to start with the normal one. Looking like this, dropping for one point down here. Then back, another drop for one point. And it will connect from up here. And here you have the choice of using either the straight one, going down to here, the six points, or the one that curves and go, comes back. Very simple, very basic, nothing to worry about here. What will change in some cases is, for example, if you had the other rod, the rod that uh, looks like this. The hat in this case, for example, if it was connected to something, let's put a bar up here, Bahar, for example. We go up, then back, as we can see, it's slightly uh, curved upward. And when you come back, because you are connecting to a ra that looks like this, this hat will have a connection that will go down like this. You can see it. It's going to be very thin. And the ra would start from here. And you will have to rotate it and come back. So you can see that the hat shape here is different from this one. This one is curvier because it has to go up. Meanwhile, when it comes back, when it has to go downward like this, it sticks to this uh, straightish line that has to go uh, this way. This is worthwhile keeping an eye. The rat starts from here because the hat is uh, kind of five points of width. So this is where the hat would be coming from. This is a very important connection with regards to the ha and the ra. You will see a lot and it's quite pretty. So to know it's this one is basically knowing that this would be shallow. And I can't remember if I've ever seen it connected to a singular ha or a ha at the beginning. Okay, let me just give it a try. This one will, yeah, it's, I've, it's rarely a case to see it looking like this. Usually it connects to a hat that is already connected uh, with another letter. So we've got har, we've got bahar, and here the letter for the ba. Uh, what could we... Let's try bird. You've got either this ba, the one and a half, and we're going to use the long 6.1 for this letter again with regards to the points here it should be very thin but ra and the dal again with regards to the uh, line it would be up here this would be dropping below and the dal will be contained within this uh, shape, so we could start our dial from up here.
and it will end almost with the letter. So here we've got a bird. If you want to use the other uh, shape of the ba and the ra, feel free to do that. One, two, three. And you could also use the other shape of the ra. Going down, then back. And in this case, you will have to cut this from here because you've got the dal that will touch the ra from this side. Now, there is also another shape for the dal that is cut short. So in that shape, you will have your dal. And this end part would be very curvy and very short. It will stop right here. And you will see it in scene, in dal, in uh, noon. So they use it to place the dal or the scene or the noon inside another letter. So this could come inside this one, like this. It's not really uh, sort of a normal case, not common that there, but you will see it. It's a special case for the dal, it's not a ra. So I think this would be good for today's lesson because we've covered these cases if i remember other cases i will come back to just to touch on what we've uh, talked about with regards to connecting a ra to a nabira let's say that we have a sad now or dad now this would connect to a ra this way you could write Larir this way, which means blind. Or Sarir, which means a scratchy noise. So as you can see, this is considered the Nabira for the Asad. Meanwhile, here it's the letter Ra. We will come to it later again uh, I think it's also uh, in some cases yeah when it comes Allah uh, this works the you might see the other one which is the normal one because you will have this nebula for the sad which is a pretty thing to have and then you will connect it to a Ra and have a straight line that combines this uh, shape of the sod. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Letter Ra is one of the prettiest letters out there. It has several shapes, variations of it. So yeah, make sure to practice it and write those notes and go back to old manuscripts and check how it looks like. Each calligrapher has their own way of writing it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. This has been Amal Awadi. Uh, as usual, stay safe out there. Like, share and subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about Arabic calligraphy. And we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.